Ocean Alexander was born over 25 years ago when Alex Chu, then a hardware manufacturer with a keen sense for business and an eye for quality, met renowned naval architect Ed Monk Jr. And the rest, they say, is history. I'm Ken Chrysler, senior editor of Power and Motor Yacht Magazine. I'd like to show you around the latest offering from this fine builder, the Ocean Alexander 58. Getting aboard the 58 is done in safety and comfort via the large teak platform aft. And from there, it's up onto the aft deck, also beautifully finished off with a teak sole. Some outstanding features here include this beefy transom door, heavy duty dock line hardware, electric grill, and nice wide walkways, also with sturdy rails that lead all the way around the boat and make going forward or aft easy and safe. From the tip of her bow, here equipped with a Maxwell windlass, to the top of her bridge deck, the Ocean Alexander 58 is a fully equipped cruiser designed for comfort that is as pleasing to the eye as it is to satisfying any case of terminal wanderlust. To that end, the bridge deck offers wide open spaces for the skipper while the owners and their guests enjoy the views and entertaining with a wet bar, sink, and refrigerator. That same theme is continued inside the 58 with an extra added touch. For no matter where you look, from the bold architectural statement made by these access stairs to the beautiful finish of the teak and burled camphor woodwork found throughout this boat, to the eye-catching lower station, the interior of this Ocean Alexander is something special. Here's an interesting piece of equipment I found. It's a nice Fisher and Paykel dishwasher. The fully equipped galley offers ample counter space, lots of stowage cabinets and drawers, side-by-side -side refrigerator freezer, electric cooktop, and a host of extras. And as you can readily see, the galley adjoins the dining area. Access to the accommodations deck is via this stairway, where the power panel is conveniently located on the bulkhead. A pair of push-pull locking glass doors gives easy access to all the breakers for everything on board. The fine craftsmanship and attention to detail that we notice topsides is also evident here in the living accommodations. First of all, you can't help but notice the beautiful curve and fit and finish of this bulkhead here. Secondly, we have the master stateroom aft with its own ensuite head. Forward in the forepeak, a VIP stateroom. Directly aft of that and to port is a double berth stateroom. There's a head just forward of here for these two staterooms. And down below, there's additional nice woodwork that we're gonna take a look at. The master stateroom offers several distinctive designer touches, such as these unique Soji screens for the port lights, the burl wood pillars to either side of the queen berth, and everywhere you look, the beautiful fit and finish of all the woodwork in these quarters. Rounding out the amenities here is the ensuite head with a teak and holly sole, stall shower, and a pocket door. One look around the salon of the Ocean Alexander 58 and you can obviously see the quality craftsmanship and attention to detail that has gone into this boat. From the striking lighting fixture in the overhead to the electric lift for the plasma screen in the buffet counter to the comfortable seating areas to port and starboard, the Ocean Alexander 58 offers luxury and comfort. But this boat is also meant to cruise and Ocean Alexander has engineered her to do just that. Her Ed Monk Jr. design, which has gone through rigorous tank testing for safety and seaworthiness, offers a solid fiberglass bottom, a tunneled hull that results in a four-foot draft, and unidirectional carbon fiber reinforcement in critical areas. During her sea trial, and powered by a pair of 700 horsepower Caterpillar C12 diesels, she reached a wide open throttle speed of 23.5 miles per hour or 20.4 knots at 2300 RPM. Her fast cruise speed at 2100 RPM came in at 20.8 miles per hour or 18.1 knots, giving her a 367 mile or 319 nautical mile range with her tanks topped off at 1,000 gallons. 
and docking her stern to was made easy using the aft control station equipped with both bow and stern thrusters. The attention to detail Ocean Alexander is famous for also extends to the hands-on owner and skipper as well. And that's evident right down here in the engine room. Firstly, you land right down here in a very large lazarette. But let's take a look what's happening in the engine room. We start off with great headroom for a 58-foot boat. Next, a pair of Northern Lights generators right here to either side. Next, the power plants forward. All critical maintenance areas are readily available. And as you can readily see, Ocean Alexander has engineered this area to be hands-on friendly. Attention to detail, creature comforts, and sturdy construction techniques, all hallmarks of the Ocean Alexander 58. I'm Ken Chrysler, Senior Editor of Power & Motor Yacht Magazine. I hope you enjoyed your time aboard this boat as much as I did showing you around. We'll see you next time on PMY-TV.